everyone, it's Ed here from the marketing team at CNIT here with April's feature roundup. Let's take a look. So we'll start in the CNIT studio and take a look at some new download options that we've got that are going to help you make get the most out of your content. Here we've got a clip from Fred and our CS team as part of an internal project we've been running. If we now click download, you can see we've got four options. We've got original, so just how the clip was uploaded. We've got web optimized, which is something I use a lot. What this does is it converts all of your footage to 25 frames per second, 1080p, and uses the H.264 video codec. So if you're downloading lots of clips in bulk, it's really, really useful because it means it's all going to be the same size, making it a little bit quicker in edit. We've also got normalized audio. Again, this means that if you're downloading lots of footage at once, everything is going to be at roughly the same audio level. So you're not going to be having to do lots of fiddling in post. This is really, really useful and something, again, I've been using a lot. You can head over to our blog to learn more about how we do that. The final option we've got is stabilized video. Now it says it's in beta, this means that you might get one or two funny results. We're also not doing this for every clip, we're only doing it for clips where we feel that it may be ever so slightly shaky and it could benefit from that. Again, you can head over to our blog to learn more about how we're doing that. Um, so that's a look at the download options. Obviously having to download it and then view it's not that useful. So we've also got view options where you can see how the normalized audio is working and how we're stabilizing that footage. Let's look at download options. Let's now head over into the editor and see some of the couple of the new features we've got that I'm actually going to be using at the moment. Um, these features are thanks to our partners at WeVideo who helped provide the editing. So here we've got the same clip from Fred and our CS team. You can see we've got our video track, but we've also got this audio track down here. By default, all clips be at 100%, but now, with thanks to Audio Boost, we can go right the way up to 500% volume. So even the quietest clips, you're going to be getting something out of that. Again, that's something I find really useful when you're running projects and you've got a really good clip, but it can just be touch on the quiet side. The final update we've got, which is actually something that really excited me because I'm using it at the moment, is new record options. So you can not only just record from webcam and screen, you can also record both at the same time. Super useful for me, super useful for any of our customers that may be doing product updates or feature roundups, but also any e-learning or training videos that people may be doing. Super, super useful, really, really quick way of getting videos out there. That's a look at our April feature roundup. Stay tuned for May's roundup where we've got lots of exciting new features to take you through. Um, and also in the next couple of weeks on social, you may see some exciting updates from us. So stay tuned and use the comments below to let us know what you think. Thanks very much guys. Take care, bye.